Okay guys, you will now see that your Apple TV has been restored to factory settings. Please disconnect Apple TV from your computer and reconnect it to your TV. So that is the next thing that we will be doing. You're going to unplug your uh, Apple TV from your computer. And uh, before we go on to the next part, I want you guys to plug it back into your uh, TV and then set it up with your network. And uh, we'll go on from there. Okay, now, once you guys have it plugged into your TV, you're going to notice that it hasn't changed one bit. And that is okay. Um, what you guys are going to need for this next part is you're going to need to go to Settings, General, and then About. And what you're going to need from there is your IP address to do this next part. Okay guys, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to open up terminal and you're going to type ssh space root at and then whatever your IP address is. Okay, now it's going to ask you for your password and as always the uh, password is going to be alpine. Okay, now that now you'll see that you are in the Apple TV root. Okay, the first thing that you're going to want to do, you don't have to, but I would highly recommend it, is type in P A S S W D, and it's going to ask you what you want to change your uh, root password to. So I'm going to change mine. I'm going to retype it. And that's it. Now we have changed our uh, Apple TV root password. And like I said, you don't have to do that if you don't want to, but uh, I would recommend it. Okay, now for the first thing. Um, now, before you guys do this, uh, I just want to let you know that uh, this is a third party app. Um, I have tested it on my Apple TV. It uh, didn't freeze it, it didn't do nothing. And it's not really much of an app. Uh, to be honest, uh, it's just a weather widget sort of app. Um, it also has a little bit of like ESPN news and some other things, and I'll show you that, um, you know, when we get to that part of the video. So if you do want to uh, install this app, um, remember your Apple TV is plugged in to your TV now. We're not even plugged into our uh, computer. We're doing this all over our Wi-Fi connection that's why we had to type in our IP address so the next thing that you're gonna do is uh, and I'm not gonna say this all out what I'll do is, is I'll just put it in the description so you guys can copy and paste it okay and then the next thing you're gonna do after you copy and paste that is you're gonna type APT hyphen get update and it's going to do a little scroll in there for you because it's installing a couple of things uh, looks like uh, okay, now the next thing you're going to do after this gets done scrolling is type apt again hyphen git install com dot nitto dot nitto tv and everything so far has been under case letters except for uh, at the end of nitto tv uh, down there make sure that the tv is capitalized and we'll hit enter and we'll hit yes to continue and we'll hit yes to continue again. What it's telling you is uh, these packages can't be verified. Um, so, I mean, like I said, uh, this is all at your discretion. Um, I'll just, I'm just going to do it because, uh, I mean, jailbreaking your iPhone, you put third-party apps on it all the time. 
So we'll go ahead and do that, and now it's going to install. And then the next thing you want to do is uh, capital K I L L A L L space capital L O W T I D E. And what this is going to do as soon as you hit enter is restart your Apple TV. Oops. That's actually a lowercase l and kill all. Sorry about that. You will now see that your Apple TV has rebooted. And when it comes back up, right next to TV shows, you will see that you have Nitto TV. So what we'll do now is I'll go over here with my camera and show you guys a couple of the things on Nitto TV. First thing you'll see is we have weather. And you can add weather locations. You got Amsterdam, Philadelphia, Phoenix, Vienna. You got a little widget down there. So then we'll just hit menu to go back. And then you got some RSS feeds here. And you got dig and uh, you know a few other ones and then it looks like you can add some if you want and you you know go in here and add the uh, URL so that's kinda that's kinda neat I guess but yeah that's about it for uh, Nitto TV so Once that is done, um, that's pretty much it. Um, you now have your jailbroken Apple TV with uh, Pawnage Tool 4.1. Uh, we went into uh, Terminal and SSH'd and uh, changed our password and added Nitto TV. And we did this all through Wi-Fi while our TV was hooked up to our television. Apple TV was hooked up to our television. So uh, we are pretty much done here, and uh, you can go through and continue to use Terminal if you would like to, uh, you know, look at your files and stuff, but what I'm going to show you now is CyberDuck and show you that you can connect to CyberDuck uh, to your Apple TV the same way that you would your iPhone. So what you do is you'll just type in your uh, IP address, change your username to root, and then remember that you changed your password. So don't type in Alpine, type in your new password if you changed it. Uh, if not, it will continue to be Alpine. And then we'll just simply connect. And you will see now that we can... Uh, It'll start you off in library media. You can just go right here and go all the way back to the root of your hard drive. And now you can see that you have applications, which will have Cydia and Low Tide. And then it pretty much looks exactly like SSHing into your iPhone. Um, that's about it for right now, guys. There are no other apps um, other than Nitto TV right now probably change around uh, your uh, user interface a little bit if you would like uh, you know if you don't like the uh, Apple TV at the top and say you want a green poison emblem or something like that I'm sure you could do that if uh, if you want um, I'm not telling you to because uh, messing around with the files in here um, could potentially uh, harm your Apple TV uh, I would uh, be pretty confident to say that anything you do could be uh, fixed with a simple restore, but uh, who, who's who's to know? Um, you know, I don't know what you're doing in there, so uh, use this at your discretion, uh, just like you would on your iPhone. You know, Apple TV too is the same thing. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video, and like I said, I will have all the links to everything in the description, and uh, I'll catch you guys on the flip side.